Welcome to East Burgot High School. My name is Amelia and I'm head girl. As head girl, I'll make sure that you have the best experience possible and to feel safe and welcome at our school. My name's Luke and I'm the head boy at East Burgot High School. I'm really looking forward to working closely with students and staff to help improve the school to make it better than it already is. Now, if you're in school and you have any questions, any queries or any concerns, please don't hesitate to come and ask me or any of the other senior prefects or prefects. We are more than happy to help. The rest of the PowerPoint should hopefully be a really good insight and help prepare you for the world of EBHS and moving to high school. Now the rest of the video should be the senior prefect team. Hi guys, I'm Olivia and I'm a head of induction prefect. On your first day you will go into the main hall and meet your head of year. Then you'll get put into forms which you'll go back to your form room and spend time with your form tutor and everyone. You will sort out your timetables which you have which shows which lessons you have each day. Then you'll have an assembly, then a practice fire drill. After this, you will go to your first lessons, which you'll be taken to by your induction prefect. Hello everyone, I'm Lily, and I'm one of the head induction senior prefects. As a part of this role, we will be taking you to your different lessons, which will be in various classrooms across the school. This will probably be for the first few weeks, or until you get the hang of things. We understand this can be a big and scary change, but we will always be there should you get lost or have any questions or problems. I'm looking forward to seeing you all in September. Hi, my name's Rosie, I'm one of the head travel prefects. Many of you will be getting a bus to school next year and may be curious as to how the bus system works. We have bus laybys at the front of our school. This is where the buses drop you off in the morning and where they wait for you to go on after school. We also have bus queues in between B Block and the Sports Centre. Each queue coordinates with the number of your bus. You'll want to wait behind this number until a teacher calls your bus and then you can get on. On Tuesdays and Thursdays we have late buses. So you can stay late for extracurricular activities. In the mornings, make sure to get your bus stop at least five minutes before the bus is due to arrive. This way you won't miss the bus and be late for school. Also, keep your bus pass or bus ticket on you all the time, otherwise you may not be able to get on the bus. I hope this video helps and I hope it goes well for you in September. Hi, my name is Keely. I'm one of the two senior travelling prefects for this upcoming year. On each bus, there'll be two year 11 bus prefects. They'll be downstairs with you to make sure everything is okay and to report and sort out any problems on the bus. If there is a problem, please go speak to them. That's what they're there for and they'll try their best to help. If the situation cannot be sorted at that specific time, they'll meet up with the teacher as soon as possible and the teacher will try and sort something out. For the first couple of weeks, you'll be walked to your bus to make sure you understand where your bus is and to make sure you get the right bus. All the bus prefects will teach us regularly so they understand what is going on in the buses and if the problems are regular appearances. This is to make sure everyone is okay and they have safe journeys to and from school. We look forward to seeing you in September. Hello, I'm Matthew and I'm Deputy Head Boy at East Burgot High School along with Kai. When you come up to East Burgot High School, there are several rules you need to make sure you follow regarding your uniform. Firstly, if you're wearing a coat, you need to make sure you take it off before going into any lessons and you can only have your hood up if you're outside and it's raining. Second, you need to make sure you have your top button and your shirt done up at all times and your shirt's always tucked in. Finally, if you want to take your jumper off, make sure you ask the teacher whose lesson you're in for permission first. I hope that's all clear and I'm looking forward to seeing you in September. Hello, my name is Kai and I'm a deputy head boy at East Burger High School. This is a short video to help inform you about the correct boys' school uniform so you know what to wear for September. The boys' school uniform consists of a black school jumper with the East Burgo High School logo on it, a white shirt, this can either be long or short sleeve, black school trousers, these should be in the same style as the school trousers offered by Coes, an East Burgo High School tie, white or black socks, and black leather school shoes. These shouldn't be in the style of any trainers. I hope you found this video useful and I hope you look forward to joining East Burger High School in September. Hello, my name is Amy and I'm Deputy Head Girl. I'm going to talk to you about girls' uniform because you need to know what to wear when you join in September. You'll wear a black jumper with the East Burger High School logo on it, your plain white shirt and your school tie. You can then either wear a black skirt or black trousers, which both must be of the approved style offered by Coes. Then for shoes, you can wear black leather school shoes and no trainers are allowed. Ideally, you shouldn't wear any jewellery, but you're allowed to wear a small stud in each ear. Hopefully this was helpful and we look forward to seeing you soon. Hello, my name is Lucy and I'm Deputy Head Girl at East Burgot High School. 
Today I'm going to show you how to tie your own tie as you need to know how to do this when you start. First of all you need to work out which is the thick end and which is the thin end. Take the tie and place it over your neck like this. Then make the thick end slightly longer than the thin end. Take the thick end and cross it over the thin end. So you've got the thick end on top and the thin end underneath. Then take the thick end and bring it under and then over the thin end. So you've got it looped around like this. Then take the thick end and push it through the loop you've got round your neck. So take it and take it and push it through the loop like this. So it will look like this. Then take the thick end and push it through the loop you've got here. Push it through and then pull it. So it's like this. And then bring up your collar. And then take the thin end and the loop you've got here and pull with the thin end and push with the loop. So you've got something like this. And then take your collar and wrap it under like this. And then make sure you count how many you've got, um, how many dark blue strips you've got. So you've got one, two, three, four. And that is a perfect length for a tie. Thank you for watching and good luck at East Burger. Yes, hope you all well. I'm part of the senior prefect team. My role is being an induction prefect, which means if any of you need help throughout your seven, I'm always here. For the first week of you being at high school, break will start at 10 past 11 and finish at 25 past 11 like normal. We will have early lunch, allowing you to get used to the system. During lunch and break, you can either eat packed lunch or buy food. The main area is in the canteen located to the right as you walk in the main entrance to A block. Inside the canteen, there are tables to sit in and school dinners, as well as two places to buy food. The first place is the sub bar, where you can buy subs with a choice of filling. Drinks, cakes and cookies are also available here. The second place is towards the back with a selection of food. The final place to get food is called the snack shack. It is to the right of the main hall. It is outside under a canopy, providing a shelter and seated area. It offers a variety of food and drink. East Bergot High School has a fantastic way of buying food. It is a cashless catering system, meaning money is not accepted. Instead, you will be given a number pin, which will require you to type onto a pad when purchasing. A parent or guardian will be in charge of your account. It will be their responsibility to top up with money through both schools. Please note they will be able to see everything that you buy. The school may sound and look slightly overwhelming as it is likely to be bigger than your private school, but I can assure you all that I felt exactly the same. I soon realised I had nothing to worry about. The school will become familiar quickly, students and staff are very supportive and always happy to help. Thank you for listening. Hi Year 6, I'm Edie and I'm one of the head SOS prefects. SOS, which is Support Our Students, is a scheme we have which is to support and help you through your Key Stage 3 years at school. We have about 15 mentors on our team and we'll have meetings with you in citizenship if you apply and it could be any problems you may be facing that you can talk freely about, whether it's difficulties at home, mental health, homework and organisation, anything you want we're happy to help. After each meeting we write a quick roundup of everything that we've spoken about, any targets that we've set for you, so that at the end of your sessions you can see how far you've come and be really proud of yourself. We're here to support your transition into secondary school and we'll be happy to help with any problem you could face. My name's Maddie and I'm the head of SOS Senior Prefect Team. You can get an SOS mentor by returning to page 26 in your logbook and filling out this form. You will need to rip the page out of your logbook and take it to the library where you'll find a blue box with the letters SOS written into. You'll just pop this form into the box and we'll have an SOS mentor to you soon. Hello everyone, my name is Millie and I'm head of female sports on the senior prefect team. When you join in September, there's going to be loads of opportunities for you to join in some of the different extracurricular sports clubs we have to offer after school on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Some of these are football, rugby, cheerleading and netball. We also run a friendly competition called Informs, which is where you and a bunch of others from your form will compete against others in other forms in order to win. 
These competitions will take place over the course of a term in football, speedball, and in the summer, rounders. At the end of the year, you'll have the chance to compete in a sports day. This will be all forms in your year against each other. Whoever wins will receive a shield. Field events and tug of war heats will be formed in one of your PE lessons leading up to sports day, as we don't have enough time on the day. However, all track events will take place on the day, along with the final of tug of war. We look forward to seeing Hi, I'm Ollie, and I'm head of our sports and senior prefect team. Throughout your time at East Burger High School, you should be able to complete a variety of sports, including football, rugby, tennis, table tennis, cricket, netball, badminton, cheerleading, athletics, trampoline, handball, rounders, speedball, dance and the gym. You should be able to complete all these sports at East Burgle if you wish so and we hope to be seeing you in September. That was a virtual tour of East Burgot High School, which we hope you're excited to join. You just have to remember that we've all been in the same situation as you and felt the same things that you're feeling right now. We're really looking forward to welcoming you to EBHS. Even though it's been a really crazy year, we know you will really, really love high school and you'll have a great time here. See you soon.